people like Justin Bieber, like he's got a way harder road. It's a way harder road to try to figure Dude, out who the fuck imagine, you are. Like all things considered, I, he's probably handling it okay. He's handling it you phenomenally. Know, for, for, you think about he was what fucking eight or he's only twenty four. <laughs> you know, he, he's twenty four years he's old. Twenty four right Holy now. Holy shit! He just and turned. All this has already happened. Just turned twenty four. And he's rolling around on a G7. That's his day to day, you know. Just he does whatever the fuck he wants, all dude. All the time. But yeah, he's, you know, you don't pay attention to things. I'm not like a, I'm not glued into pop culture, but somehow, like, you just can't not know what Justin Bieber's up to once a month, just walking around in the world anymore. But it, I would say that kid, for most people to be handed that type of existence and all of that scrutiny and all the shit that comes along with that, like that does things to people you know it definitely does especially if your personality is not even formed yet yeah i can't imagine like i'm so grateful i got into this business at 35 yeah and not 21 because i was talking to my friend john this weekend about this and i was saying that it's almost like if you made an epoxy right you know if you have epoxy you just put a, a couple ingredients in like there's one thing and you mix it with another thing then it hardens but if you add some shit in that that's not supposed to be there and it's fully developed, right. you're not going to take that shit out. Like if you added oil, you threw some oil in the epoxy, like, ah, oh, now you fucked that whole thing up. That's kind of what you're doing to a person when you raise a person famous. If you take some reality star from the time they're five and then they're in a sitcom and a movie and then you've gone through your whole, I don't know why I said reality star, but you've gone through your whole life if you're that person. If you're Justin Bieber, you've gone through your whole life under that eye, under the eye, and it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, and more and more people paying attention. Like you never had a moment like you did, where you're working for the railroad tracks, right? Or like, you know, I did going on the road for years, or some of the jobs that I had before I was ever a comedian. They don't have any of those. They don't they don't have the wondering if you could pay your bill feeling. They don't know that feeling. They don't have the. You I know. see. I still feel like that. <laughs> you know, that's what's fucked up. My wife. It, I'm just like, I'm still like, I just, I, I'll never not feel like that, you know? Yeah. From never, never really had money or anything like that or had any aspirations to own a house or those kind of things. So it's just, uh, I'm, I, you know, especially with kids now, like I just don't, it's, there's no flamboyance. Yeah. <clears throat> But now he, he lives a different life where people like Rihanna, these they're like literally citizens of the world. And any day of the week, they could be in some five star hotel and God knows where, you know. Yeah, God knows where. Yeah, it's a crazy way to live. Very bizarre. I just Jet setting, flying I couldn't, around. I couldn't do it, man, because there's no way I don't ever I don't ever want to wake up and have that kind of career because it takes so many people around you. Like on a daily basis just to maintain and keep see something a machine that large rolling logistically speaking that you become enslaved to the job you know what i mean because you have all these there's like there's always this name like when you have superstar x you know you put this head right here and then everything below that just to make that thing go around you know and you, and it just turns into this it's like a corporation really like with 20 semi trucks and all this shit, you know, and you got to go out and make that happen because now all these people depend on you for their livelihoods and careers. And so then that's going to affect the artistic decisions you make because you have to stay relevant culturally speaking. And if you, if you want to do something different next time, well now this massive fan base isn't really going to fucking deal with that very well. Right. So, you know, like when beastie boys put out Paul's boutique. Exactly. People went, what the fuck? They went, what the fuck? But now it's, a, it's you know, Classic. one of the class, most greatest records ever made. But people back then didn't know what to handle. They didn't know what to do with that. They didn't, they didn't have the, the Beastie Boys classified in the artist box. Right. They had them in the pop music box. So this is silly. You got to fight for your right to party. We get it. Yeah. You guys are partiers. Cool. And then all of a sudden, you know, Paul's Boutique is like, whoa, what is this? Mm -hmm. What do you think David Bowie went from... Ziggy Stardust to doing a soul album in like nine months with Luther Vandross and yeah, wow. those are huge, That's classic, right. amazing records now. But like you realize those guys were playing theaters when all that shit happened. Whoa! And he's just like, I'm done with this. I'm gonna go do this now. You literally can't see anymore because I fucking killed it on stage. Yeah, that's over. You know. Do you think Rod Stewart gets enough credit? I don't. Actually. I don't either. I think especially man faces. 
And even those yeah. early solo records, those, those are some amazing albums. His voice is incredible. You know what I happened to him? Stuart. What? The hits. He got too much pussy. Do you think I'm sexy? brain. If you yeah. want my pot. Once he hit that, everybody's like, check, please. He's you like, know? wait, all, that's all I got to do? Because remember, <laughs> like, like, go back to Maggie Mae, you know? Wake up, Maggie. Like, that song was, that was, there was something in that song, right? There was a guy trying to figure his life out, hanging out with some chick. Yeah. Uh, Rod Stewart's a badass. Man. Oh, man. No question. What uh, is that song? Is it called Maggie Mae? Yeah. Him and uh, Elton John, all those guys, like, that's. Yeah, know, he was, was a beast. It was a different level. But then he started wearing, like, leopard tight pants and shit because he could i mean look could. at that shit it ain't like it's not working you know what i mean like, look, at him, look at that look <laughs> he actually was a, uh i think he almost played professional <laughs> soccer for celtic or somebody wow uh he's like a really great soccer player when he was a kid but he was too small so he had just and he's another one right that like basically like you're never going to see one of those again no i don't think so you're never going to see a lot of things again just because it there's just no nobody that's actually that might you know that's not necessarily true you might see more things now because right. that's true too right you know i'm, that's I'm true getting too. ahead of myself like I, you know for all intents i i shouldn't be here right you it's know? true the, it wasn't an industry creation right so now like anything really is possible 